Doctors we spoke to at Mercy Hospital say it's recommended that you call 911 if you see someone uh, having signs of a stroke. Do not bring them to the hospital yourself. Well, there is a worldwide icon and a symbol of the end of prohibition. It's the famous Budweiser Clydesdales, and they're making an appearance here in the Ozarks. Take a look. They are the world famous Budweiser Clydesdales. We are here just kind of visiting. We tour the country all year round, taking the Clydesdales around to various events. It takes a lot of work. Um, on a show day today, we say it takes us at least four hours before a show to get the Clydesdales ready. all the way back to 1933. They were actually given as a gift from son to father after the repeal of Prohibition. We did a little tour of the country. We actually took a case up to the White House to kind of say thank you for repealing Prohibition. And the country loved them so much that they became the icon they are today. The reaction that we get when people see the Clydesdales for the most part is just how large they are. You see them on TV, and you're like, yeah, they're big, but they are absolutely massive. We have a height and size requirement for our Clydesdales. Our smallest guys are 18 hands high at the shoulder, which means they're six feet tall just at their shoulder, and they're about 2,000 pounds. At that 2,000 pound weight mark, these guys are nice and comfortable. They can actually pull two times their own body weight. So it actually only takes about two of our Clydesdales to pull our 6,000 pound beer wagon. So the big guys are absolutely massive. And if you would like